Can you believe it's been eight years since we first saw the production version of the Bentley Bentayga luxury SUV? It was a Bentley, except with a raised ride height and off-road modes, but it was still a car of exceptional craftsmanship and luxury. It quickly solidified Bentley as a serious player in this uber luxury SUV space. And then as the global market changed and fell more in love with SUVs, Bentley decided to hatch a plan and create an all new model, a model that would take the baton from the inimitable Mulsanne and reinvent the rear seat cabin experience. And this is it. This is the new Bentley Bentayga Extended Wheelbase or EWB. Now I can hear you thinking, okay, so it's just a stretched Bentayga then. Well, yes and no. You see, this car builds on the Bentayga second generation and it becomes the new flagship. Now, you think I'm joking? I'm not joking. Go onto Bentley's website, you'll see the Bentayga is listed all there with all its derivatives. This sits as its own model, the EWB flagship. Make of that what you will. What I can tell you is there's 180 mils on the wheelbase, which means more room in the back. And of course, yes, it does mean more metal. But I got to tell you, from where I'm standing, it doesn't look like a stretched Bentayga. It's all well proportioned and just, it looks, it looks great. But you decide. Okay, so what's the difference between an EWB and say a normal Bentayga? There's quite a lot actually. You just got to know where to look. So let me start with the front here. These vertical veins on this chrome grille are specific to EWB. You'll notice on a normal Bentayga, there's the diamond grille. Coming around the side, these 22 inch polished alloys are specific to EWB. And just, just check this, a self leveling wheel badge. That is cool. Now, of course, this is a Bentley and that means it's always going to be highly specced. But this one, this is the launch car in South Africa and it's finished in the Azure and the first edition specification, which means the list of specs is long. I'm going to take you through a lot of them, but it does explain why you get this Azure and first edition badges on this Windsor blue paintwork. But the big money is on the inside. Let me show you. This is where it's at. Welcome to the interior of a Bentayga EWB. Now, EWB is all about a new level of luxury and well-being. Now, it's normal Bentley in here. There's a lot of leather and a lot of wood and a lot of metal. The material mix is fantastic. But as part of this Azure and first edition specification, you also get things like first edition badging on the fascia. You get hand painted, hand painted lines on a lot of the panels. You get things like contrast diamond stitching. If you look at it in detail, it's, it's exquisite. But the thing I really want to point your attention to is something that Bentley calls the diamond illumination. Essentially, it's a diamond patterned perforation in the actual door panels through which ambient light shines. Now you can change the color, you can change the brightness, and apparently it's all about your senses and your well-being, something to de-stress you. Here's the other thing, as part of this first edition package, you get the name for Bentley audio system. Now, if you're an audiophile, in fact, if you vaguely care about audio, name for Bentley is quite simply staggering. In fact, just give me a few moments to enjoy it. Oh, okay, thank you for that. All right, where were we? Getting back to the rear quarters. So the big thing in the rear quarters, of course, is the seats. And this car is specified with something called the airline seat specification. So it's all about giving you a first class experience, not economy class, right? First class. So this car is configured with two individual seats. And these seats, <laughs> they've got so much going on here. I'm going to try and tell you a bit about them. So 22-way adjustable, 
massaging function, ventilation, and heating. Now, sure, that's, that's not new. I mean, you know, lots of luxury cars can do that. Oh, by the way, they can also recline 40 degrees. Again, you know, not the first luxury car to do that. Here's where the money is. So Bentley's apparently worked with chiropractors and sensory specialists to configure how these seats operate. Now, they have their own climate control system. Now, hear me on this. This is a climate control system that works in individual areas of your body, making sure that individual areas of your body are essentially climate controlled. And it will change temperatures in those individual areas to keep your body temperature where you want it. Thing number one. Thing number two is something that it baffles my mind. As you drive or as you are driven in the back of this car, the seat will make small postural adjustments. It'll constantly move to make sure that there is circulation going through your body. And it's supposed to reduce fatigue and help with circulation in your lower back and your legs. It's insane. And just by the way, those are firsts. No other car company's done that before. It's all so Bentley in here. And here's another thing just to explain what I mean. Now, in the rear part of the cabin, there is a touch screen. And it's a touch screen that will eject if I needed to so that it becomes mobile. But here's what's important. It's the how. Did you hear anything? No. It's the Bentley way. Silence. It comes out silently. There's no clunk that you get in other luxury manufacturers that, that make cars like this. So that's the one thing. But then look at this tablet. Look at how it's finished in the same way as so many of the switches and buttons throughout the cabin. And of course, it's still a mobile tablet that I can control from the back seat. And from here, I can control a number of functions in the cabin, like the climate control, the airline seats, which I'll show you just now. I can open and close the blinds, the ambient lighting, etc., etc., etc. Nifty, hey? And now for a few more tricks before we close the video. Look at this. This is the first Bentley with power closing rear doors. How cool is that? And then, of course, uh, for my last trick of the day. Here we go. Good night. At the push of a button, I get more space than I get in first class, if I'm honest footrest and all. The only thing that's missing is uh, somebody serving me drinks. Oh wait, hang on. Now, you'll notice throughout this video, not once have I mentioned the engine or the performance. So, okay, I will. You know it's going to be serious. It's Bentley. So this car comes with a 4-liter twin-turbo V8, power 404 kilowatts. 900 newton meters of torque and it'll do 0 to 100 in about 4.6 seconds and then in terms of the ride it uses bentley's dynamic ride which essentially is an electric anti-roll bar system as well as active damping to keep the car flat when you're going at it and calling on that twin turbo power and to keep the car comfortable when you need it which is really what i need right now cheers It's appetizer. I'm working. Just a few years ago, I was fortunate enough to be chauffeured in the back of a Bentley Mulsanne extended wheelbase. And I got to tell you, that was really, really special. But if this is Bentley's answer to what its customers want, luxury SUVs and well-being, then I think their customers will be extremely happy. As for me, yeah, I'll miss the grace and the tradition of a stretched saloon. But if this is Bentley's follow on from that, well, I gotta tell you, I think this is the most luxurious, comfortable, astounding handcrafted car that you can buy today. And with that, just excuse me, I'm gonna go and invest in my well being. <laughs>